Hi everyone, Trent here. Justice League is hitting our shores soon, with the forces of Apocalypse threatening to bring chaos and destruction. Luckily, we have DC Comics' finest heroes on the case. So, with the release of Justice League looming, we give you everything you need to know before you see the film. Warning, there will be some spoilers for previous DCEU films in here. Before we go any further, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get notified of all the latest videos and content from Movie Nerds. Batman vs Superman offered our first glimpse at the formation of the Justice League, with Batman and Wonder Woman acknowledging a greater threat looming after the death of Superman, with the need to prepare a team of heroes to band together and fight the impending invasion. We got some great cameos including Jason Momoa's luscious hair with brief glimpses of their powers in action in Batman vs Superman. A post credit scene in Suicide Squad showed Bruce Wayne meeting with Amanda Waller to gather additional information on the location of these heroes. And that brings us to Justice League. The basic premise of the film is that Earth is being invaded by aliens known as Parademons and their general, Steppenwolf. They appear to be searching for ancient mother boxes in various locations of the DC Universe, such as Themyscira and Atlantis. To stop them, Bruce Wayne and Diana Prince are travelling the world to find the other heroes like Aquaman, The Flash and Cyborg to prevent the oncoming onslaught. So who is Steppenwolf you ask and what on Earth is a mother box? In the comics, Steppenwolf is the uncle of Darkseid and is kind of a minor villain. I mean, he's killed off in issue 7 of New Gods by Orion after, you know, only debuting that issue. He later returned in the New 52 as a general of Darkseid's army of Parademons and was used as the first line of attack when invading a new planet. Mother boxes, on the other hand, are devices that allow for interdimensional travel and have a range of powers such as healing, creating boom tubes, controlling machines and manipulating energy. The purpose of the invasion and the abilities of the mother box are unknown for now. But with Steppenwolf's involvement, it's safe to assume that it has something to do with the new god and ruler of Apocalypse, Darkseid. So that's it. A team's formed with conflicting personalities to stop an alien invasion. Sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> Justice League doesn't just have some of the strongest superheroes in its arsenal, but the cast itself is quite formidable, with Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot and Henry Cavill returning as the trinity of Batman, Wonder Woman and Superman respectively. Making their debuts in a starring role are Ezra Miller's comic interpretation of The Flash, Jason Momoa as the Atlantean badass Aquaman, and Ray Fisher as Cyborg, a former footballer who, after a horrific accident, is transformed by alien technology into a living computer. J. Jonah J. I mean, J.K. Simmons, who bulked up significantly for the role, is playing Commissioner Gordon, a character whose existence was up for grabs in Batman vs Superman. Amber Heard will also appear in the cast as Aquaman's red-headed Atlantean queen and water manipulator, Mira. Willem Dafoe also plays an Atlantean advisor to the king, Volko. While baddie Syrian Hands stands opposite the main cast as the villain in Steppenwolf. Amy Adams and Connie Nielsen reprise their role as Lois Lane and Queen Hippolyta, with Jesse Eisenberg also hinting that he may have a role in the film. Zack Snyder continues to build the DCEU, returning to the director's chair for this outing, at least for the majority of production. Zack is undoubtedly one of the hardest working directors in Hollywood and a literal man of steel to spend the last six years building the franchise, you know, despite your thoughts on the critically panned Batman vs Superman. Hello darkness my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. He's done a phenomenal job to bring all of our dreams of seeing our favourite DC characters to the big screen. Unfortunately, due to a family tragedy earlier in the year, Zack has had to step down from the role. However, the property couldn't have fallen into safer hands, with former Marvel maestro and super nerd Joss Whedon stepping up to finish off the movie. Justice League will be undeniably Snyder's project, with the director leaving his iconic mark throughout the film. However, the magic touch of Whedon makes us even more excited for what's to come. The marketing first started for the film when the tagline Unite the Seven appeared on Instagram. Until now, we've had six members of the Justice League revealed, and only five regularly promoted for the film. So who is this potential seventh member you ask? Green Lantern is also a character notably absent from promotion, and there's been no casting announcement this close to the film. It is possible that Green Lantern may appeal in this film after all, however, a potential thrown away line for the trailer gives us a further clue. Steppenwolf in a trailer says of the Earth's defences, there are no more lanterns. So, what's happened to the Green Lantern Corps? This may be a tiny subplot that's a key for exploration throughout the film, and it'll be interesting to see how DC and Warner Brothers elaborate on this further. Will we get a Green Lantern in Justice League? Only time will tell, but 
fingers crossed, we do see GL back on the big screen to do justice for, you know, the previous film's atrocity. What is this? Why, why is your skin green? Why are you glowing? What the hell is with that mask? Came with the outfit. Cool, huh? Justice League has been kept well under wraps, aside from some tantalising teen is showing us all the action happening. We know little of the plot, but all I know is that we can't wait for the film to finally hit this November. Let us know what you're most excited for in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm Trent, until next time, you're watching Movie Nerds.